Hi, this is Betty Hurley, and this is a tutorial on creating a journal in Mahara and publishing it. I'm on the initial Moodle screen uh, that you go to for your courses, and on the right-hand side you see the link for Mahara. And go ahead and click that. And this takes you into Mahara. Now the very important part here is on the right, far right-hand side, which is your menu and you're on the dashboard, first thing we're going to do is go to content and create our journal. Make sure you have journals on the top there and go ahead and create journal. You do need to give it a title and I'm going to give it, oops, Math Journal 2017 and say journal and move down and create journal. You can see it created here and don't worry about this other stuff you probably won't have anything else and click on new entry and we're going to put our first entry in the journal. So I'm just going to call it introduction and then I'm just going to say, hi, I'm Betty. So you don't have to watch me typing a lot. Uh, yours will be far more interesting. Note that you can do an attachment if you want, but we're just going to go ahead and save. And there's the first posting and there's your journal. At this moment, only you can see this. So first thing we have to do is to add it to a page and then we're going to share that page. So if you go back up, close the content area and go to portfolio and go to pages and collections and we're going to add a page so click on page give it a name so I'm going to call it my math page 2017 and a description is a journal page and go ahead and save Note that it takes you right into the editor for Mahara, and it is pretty easy to uh, put things in a Mahara page. Um, as you see, there are a lot of different choices. We're not going to go uh, into any of them. We're staying focused on our journal. So, but the first thing um, I would suggest is to edit the layout, only because the default is three columns, which is a little noisy. I usually prefer two columns. So if you go to that and save. And then also um, the institutional theme is a little boring. Um, so um, I recommend trying Ocean. And um, you can see it automatically changes and gives this nice uh, blue exterior to it. And then the other thing is we're just going to add our journal. So you go to the arrow near journal. And we're going to add the whole journal. And note, as I um, click on it and hold and drag over, the gray areas appear for the two columns, and I'll stick it right in the column. So once I let go from dragging, I get the journal choices. Um, you'll probably only have uh, one here, and this is the one I created, Math Journal 2017. And go down, and um, five entries per page is fine. You can change that if you wish. Um, if you're putting more things on your page, you may not want to have five full entries there. And go ahead and save. And there it is. There's my journal. And that's all we're going to be doing right, right now. Now note, um, you can add your new entries here now. You don't have to go back to journal. You can just go to your page um, each time when you go into Mahara and add your entry uh, for the other journal items that you'll be doing throughout the course. Now, the um, thing here, though, is that this still is not viewable by anyone. We can go down and click on display page to see what it would look like. And there it is. Um, now, the best way that we found to, um, to actually share this page with your instructor is to create a secret URL for the page. 
Um, so if you go down, back down to uh, Portfolio, to Pages and Collections, and, and actually go back down again, and you go down to Shared by Me. And you have to click on Pages. And you should see just your page here, unless you have created other pages. Um, I just happen to have a lot. Um, so that's why I gave it a very specific name, My Math Page 2017. And over here, you'll see an, a, um, it says Edix URL Access. So you just want to click on that and click on New Secret URL. This is what you copy to then submit with your assignment. Um, once you've done this, um, I have access for the rest of the term, so you don't have to uh, keep giving me this. I will keep a record of them. Um, but just submit this in your first assignment and uh, we're ready to go. And then each time you want to add more to your journal, you would just go back up to here. So make sure you copy and paste that. But you can go back up to here, um, go into Pages and Collections, and open that page again and add to it. So that's all you'll need to do each time that you create, um, add a new entry. You need to go to edit this page to then add your entry. And that um, should be it. Go back to your dashboard. If you want to go back to Moodle Rooms and click this to go back to Moodle Rooms. If you have any questions, let me know.